When you change the way that you're looking at the reality altogether, it's gonna make the text message no big deal. You can manifest a reality very easily right now with these beliefs that we're gonna talk about. How do you do that now? You keep calling me a psycho Got it in my head, careful what you say This video includes a lot of exercises, so make sure that you watch all the way till the end to get the full benefit. Hey guys, it's Jasmine with Manifest a Specific Person Fast, and I'm going to tell you in this video how to instantly manifest a text message from your specific person. Yes, you can do this. You can manifest instantly. You can manifest anything that you want instantly. And you can manifest a text message from your specific person or any specific person that you want instantly. Learning how to instantly manifest, ironically enough and paradoxically enough, is not a quick fix. So you actually have to relax and sit down and listen until the end so that you get all of the information that you need. And in fact, I think that I will be doing a course on this or a series on this. So if you want to see more videos on how to manifest what you want instantaneously, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell button to get updates, to get notifications when I'm going live, when I'm releasing new videos. If you're into me and you're into this content, make sure that you click the like button and show some appreciation. Instant manifestation is this fine art. When you are in the realm where you have achieved your instant manifestation, it doesn't seem that way, but getting into it is truly an art and it is a practice because you're getting ready to live a reality, a life that is foundationally completely different from the life and the perspective and the, and the reality that you've currently been living in. So it's this complete shift to a different foundational acceptance of reality and interpretation of reality. And that is why the shift can be difficult for people sometimes is because it's a completely different way of seeing things. And so it's the initial sort of shift or completing that shift that's difficult. But once you're in it, it's not difficult. So here's what I want to say to you guys. Instant manifestation is is commonly thought of as fixing something that is broken or attracting a solution for a problem that you have identified or defined. But if you look at it that way, that is the hardest way to go about manifesting or instantly trying to manifest something because automatically, if you have to label something as a problem, it's really hard to not try. And trying is not manifesting, it's the opposite of manifesting. But there is a way around this and I'm gonna explain it to you guys fully. The first thing that needs to happen is you have to change your foundational baseline perspective of reality. If you're watching this video, it's more than likely that you have foundational concepts of reality that are actually working against you. And then you feel like you have to try extra hard to try to make your reality the way that you really wanna make it. But that is the hardest way to go about it. And we need to get around that and change the actual problem. And the actual problem is the foundational concept that you have of your reality that you're not believing that it's normal and easy and natural and simple and the next logical step and duh obvious that you would definitely get what you want. You're not actually believing in the having of what you want. You're believing that getting what you want is actually the difficult part. So think about it. That foundational concept is manifesting your reality. And so your reality shows you that. Your reality says, I'm difficult. And your reality says, you know, getting what you want doesn't happen so easily. These are all just a reflection of the rules and ideas and parameters of your reality that you have defined. So first of all, we just want to screw our heads on straight with this. And you want to sit with yourself like we're going to do this right now. You want to sit with yourself and say, you know what? I do have ideas and beliefs about reality that make it harder for me to get what I want. I'm not believing that getting what I want is natural. 
and the easy part. You can manifest a reality very easily right now with these beliefs that we're going to talk about. You can manifest a reality where, hey, it is normal and natural that I would just always get what I want. It is easy for me to get what I want because what I want wants me and what I want is coming towards me and I always get what I want and I always manifest what I want. You have to believe in this. You have to believe and know that reality is created in such a way to help you get what you want, to ensure that you get what you want. You're watching this video because the universe has all of the resources that you need to help you get what you want and is helping you to get what you want. You can reject this and deny this all that you want, but it is going to make instant manifestation out of reach for you a lot of the time, or it's going to make your results choppy and variable. And that's not what we want. We want to get what we want every single time easily, effortlessly, and instantly. There are people out there who believe that the universe is completely prosperous and abundant and ready and willing and waiting to fulfill their desires and that everything that they want just comes completely effortlessly to them without any effort on their part. There are people who believe that existence is completely orchestrating everything for them in their favor all the time and that it's harder to keep away what you want. It's harder to keep out the things that are meant for you than it is to attract them. Attracting them is effortless. So kind of go through these belief systems with yourself and look at the way that you've been defining your foundational concept of reality. Change those beliefs. People seem to think that changing their beliefs is difficult, but it's actually the opposite. It's like asking, how do I walk? You just change it. And so this is the difference between really being conscious and aware and just being completely unconscious. You can change your beliefs simply by intending to do so and sticking with it. Recognize the limiting ideas in your foundational concepts of reality and change those beliefs to, wait a minute, I'm studying manifesting and I'm learning about the way that these things work and everything that I'm learning about is telling me that this is really easy to manifest and that the universe is built to help me. The universe is naturally already completely abundant. I'm the only one that can keep it away. I'm learning that prosperity is natural and that flow is natural and that what I want wants me and that everything in the universe wants to bring to me what I want. So having what I want is natural. What I want is banging down my door on its way to me right now. What I want wants me. And it's true. As soon as you click over into believing that and reinforcing that and just letting that be what you're believing and entertaining, you will start to see the results. Now, here's what instant manifestation really is. Instant manifestation is when you click over and switch over to this reality that's based in abundance versus the reality that was based in lack. And when you click over to that reality that's based in the understanding of abundance being the easiest thing, of what you attracting what you want being the easiest thing, when that becomes you, then everything that you want naturally starts coming to you all the time at every turn because you believe that that's the easiest thing. It's the easiest thing for me to get what I desire because I have my desires for the purpose of attracting them and having them. Everything that I desire only exists in my mind and outside of me so that I can have it. So when you start living by that, everything starts coming easily. And it is instantly manifested easily and effortlessly without any effort. And that is instant manifestation. But it's like we don't recognize that and we don't attribute that to anything that we have done until we feel like we have a problem and we had to fix it with instant manifestation. Like I said, this is the wrong way to look at instant manifestation. You don't need this one thing to happen. Everything is already 
happening. If you look at instant manifestation, like I just want this one thing to happen instantly. I just want this one thing to happen easier. I just want this one thing to happen for me. I just want this one thing to happen better. No, we're going to expand that concept completely beyond the text message. And we're going to change the way that we're looking at reality altogether. Because when you change the way that you're looking at the reality altogether, it's going to make the text message no big deal. And you're going to already be able to feel like it's done it's already in the bag and it's not going to feel like a big deal to you and when it doesn't feel like a big deal to you and you're not putting the importance and the onus on it and excluding it from other things it's going to come as a natural result of you just knowing and believing that it's natural easily easy and effortless for me to get what i want instantly all of the time that's just natural so right now i want for you to First of all, understand that, okay, I'm learning about manifestation and I live in a universe that is created in such a way for me to always get what I want. And if I desire something, it's because I'm meant to have it. And if I desire something, it means it already exists and it purely exists for me. I live in a reality that is constantly and always orchestrating itself and constructing itself to bring me that which is my true joy and my true desire and my true pleasure. Everything exists for me, for my pleasure. So everything that I want is naturally and abundantly coming to me because that's the way that this is meant to work. Okay, great. So the second thing that we're going to do is I want for you to imagine that you're walking through life and that everything that you desire that would be nice, everything big, small, and everything in between just naturally comes to you and that you're coming through life, walking through life, going through life, flowing through life, and everything just is handed to you and flows to you easily. Everything is handed to you and flows to you easily. Imagine that. Imagine if every corner that you turn, imagine if everything that you do, it's like, oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, this person texted me. Yes, I just got, you know, this amount of money. I won the lotto and I've got this group of friends and I have this opportunity and I have this job and I have this money and I have this house and I have this lover and I have this person and I have this text message that I want and I have the phone call that I want and I have the conversations that I want. And it's just a part of this bigger picture that you live in. So when you imagine that everything comes to you easily and effortlessly, you're in the feeling and the state of this just being your flow, that it's just very, everything naturally always comes to me the way that I want. This is the instant manifestation baseline reality that you want to live in, where it's not about correcting a problem, correcting a problem, correcting a problem, trying to force a problem to fix itself, trying to figure out how to fix a problem. No, we're no longer introducing the idea of problems. We're so past that. That's instant, right? And then you kind of live in this place where you're naturally getting what you want. And then when you think of something that you want, it can come very instantly because you're already in that flow of knowing that, hey, that's just normal for things to come to me all the time. Everything that I want comes to me instantly all the time. Anyway, I'm not usually recognizing it because it's so normal at this point. But yeah, once you get in that flow and in that habit and, you know, this can take like a couple of months of the habitual repetition and supporting the idea and doing the practices at night, doing your sats at night. That's why I have, you know, monthly coaching sessions to help people implement a new habit and to keep that going for themselves. That's really the important part is not needing it to happen right now, but building a reality where you are ready to instantly manifest anything that you want because you already believe that everything that you want is already coming to you. Here's the thing about manifesting that a lot of people miss. I teach people to control their state. I don't teach you how to do much else other than that because here's the thing, that when you control your state, once you've done that, then you can control everything else. But what a lot of people who are seeking this information are trying to do is they just wanna know how to control the thing, how to control the thing, how to control the outside, how to control the manifestation. And they're trying to jump right to that. 
but they're not stopping and learning how to control their own state, which is the only way to control everything else. So I am teaching you guys how to control your state and how to solidify that and really gain a very good handle consistently on your state because once you have controlled your state then you will be able to snap your finger and make something happen and it will be like magic magic does exist because you actually are god and you can become the version of yourself that is in god's state i have a playlist on god's state it's only like three videos one, to kind of explain what God's state is. Two, to practice it through meditation. And the third one is a routine to show you how to work it into your routine to create that habit for yourself. The true meaning of God's state is once you create that God state, it will be like point and click. It will be like, you'll be so confident and your ability to manifest will be so well developed that you think about something that you want and you say, how's that gonna go? I think it should go like this. And it's like, boom, done. Boom, done. Just like you imagine God sitting on the throne overlooking the universe and just making orders and creating things and going poof, done, poof, done. You will be able to do that. And I've experienced that for myself. Something happened to my SP the other day with um, a person in his life, and I won't, I won't say who, but a person in his life was doing a thing. And I was very upset that that person did that thing. And I said, that person is going to recognize they're wrong and they're going to apologize for that and they're not going to do that anymore. And I was in God's state and I declared that and I just knew that. When you're in God's state, you can do that. And the next day, I got the news that that's exactly what that person did. And so this is the extent to where you will be able to manifest instantaneously. How do you do that now? So you've already done the exercises that we just talked about where we changed your perception of the state. Now you gotta control your state. Like I said, practicing God's state really helps a lot with that. Now there's no reason why you can't do all of this in one day. Some things that I like to do when I'm struggling with an idea is first of all, look at the worst case scenario. So when it comes to the text message, getting the text message from your specific person, well, what's the worst case scenario? That you just never talk to them again ever in your entire life? Does that even feel right? No, like that doesn't even resonate. So if you think about the worst case scenario, it probably is not actually even believable to you. And so you say, no, like, we're definitely going to talk again. Like, we're definitely going to be drawn to one another. We already are, like, hot over each other. We like each other, whatever. Like, it just doesn't sit right with me that we would never talk again. So obviously, they're going to text me again. So this is an idea or an example for how you can change your perception a little bit. Because what we're dealing with here is your perception, your state. Let me get a little bit into parallel realities here with you. So there's infinite parallel reality versions of this reality and of that person and of you. You know how they say there's two sides to every story? It's really infinite facets. It's really infinite possible stories. What you wanna do is tune yourself and change your story in order to tune yourself to a different perception reality where the story is a little bit more believable and in alignment with your desire. Feel a better story within yourself that is in alignment with what you want and kind of find that path and go with that and then add on to that, right? And so you wanna get kind of creative with this. The more that you need it to happen, the more that you are not believing that it is going to happen. So you have to convince yourself and that's all that manifesting really is. You have to convince yourself that of course it's gonna happen. Duh, it's gonna happen. Because it makes sense to you that they're gonna feel this certain way. It has to, as long as you can create the story where it's believable to you, then you make it reasonable and then it will happen. Take it further and see yourself conversating with them and being in harmony with them. Harmony is a really important part of this. So see yourself having 
conversation and communicative exchange with them in a very normalized way. Like, yeah, we just, we talk all the time. We talk regularly. We talk normally and naturally. It's very normal, easy, and effortless for us to talk. We, we kind of just have these exchanges all of the time. See yourself doing that. See that reality where talking to them, texting with them, being in person with them, it's not a big deal. It's kind of like normal, natural, and that's just what we do. And I like to imagine, so first of all, when I want something, yes, jump, jump farther into the future. And, and I'm imagining this exchange happening that is normal and good, right? And I'm also thinking to myself, like nothing ever happened. Because a lot of you have these stories that are holding you back about what just happened between you and this other person. And it's all bad stuff. And I get all these questions all the time where you guys are like, you know, I'm over here saying anything is possible, parallel realities, explaining the whole bit, and no matter what, you can manifest them and circumstances don't matter. And then I always, always, always get questions from you guys about like, well, what if they did this? And what if they thought that? And what if they said that? And no, you have to say to yourself as though nothing ever happened, as if nothing ever happened. And then that will eradicate the circumstances that you're concerned with. So imagine in the future, like I'm not saying place it in the future, but I'm saying go farther into the end. Go farther into a comfortable end where you're just having this communicative exchange. See yourself in harmony with that person see yourself talking and having this harmonious exchange and just talking like normal friends and talking like, you know, like lovers or however it is that you want that to go. There's this very nice, harmonious, compassionate, easy, effortless exchange happening like nothing ever happened. And that's what I want the way that's the way that I want for you to think about the situation. When you control your state, you control the outcome. If you find yourself trying to control the outcome, what you really need to do is control your state. This is not about trying to make something happen. Trying is the opposite of manifesting. You either know it or you don't. If you cannot know it and you're trying to know it, then you're trying too hard and you can actually get opposite results. So what you wanna do is first control your state because once you've controlled your state, then you can control everything else. One thing that you can do is just practice God's state. And between those three videos, you will be able to understand it and to do it. The thing about answer mode is that answer mode is something that you can do anytime throughout your day because what a lot of people do is let's say that you do the God state meditation. Let's say that you do it three times a day like like what I recommend. So you're doing the God state meditation three times a day but when you come out of it you're having crappy thoughts. This is the point of answer mode is that answer mode is something that you can do no matter where you're at in your day, no matter what you're thinking, you can do answer mode, which is, oh, I'm feeling uncomfortable about this. I'm feeling some tension right now. So let me drop the tension and let me just feel better. Just feel some relief. I don't have to think about this right now. And it's just a state. You're getting familiar with a state of confidence that feels better. So anything that feels like confidence to you, anything that feels good, relief to you, that's all answer mode. There's a lot of examples that you can pull from in your life where you feel something that you feel good about or confident about, like how about your next breath? Do you feel confident about your next breath? Maybe you feel confident about your next meal. That's answer mode. So, you know, you can take those examples from anything. Maybe you know, you really know that you look good in this particular outfit. That's just a feeling. So extract the feeling from the circumstance and just practice that calm feeling. Again, this is all about controlling your state. When you can control your state, you can control everything else. If you cannot control your state, you can't control anything else. You can do all of these things that I have said in this video. You can, you can do them in one day. You can adjust your state, you can come into a different place of understanding, uh, you can change your beliefs in one day, you can change the way that you feel and think in one day, you can do the God state meditation and get a good handle of that, you can practice answer mode, and you can manifest a text instantly in one day from anyone that you want. 
Let's say that it's not the case for you. It doesn't have to be. Let's say that it's not. Practice the God state meditation and understanding that and getting a hold of that and practice the thing that I, the things that I have said in this video. If you consistently practice getting a hold of your state and controlling your state, if you do that consistently, then you're going to be able to manifest what you want. And the thing is, you're going to be able to manifest not just a text, but lots of other things. Everybody who's on this journey of manifesting a specific person, they always manifest lots of other cool things every single time. It doesn't really matter the order, it's the state that you're going to find yourself in a place where you can point and click because now you've become the god of your reality. I can be and do and have anything that I want. I can manifest anything that I want. I'm confident about it. I don't know how I know. I just know it. I just know that it's going to go this way. Have you ever just known that something was going to go a certain way for you? It Your whole life just becomes that. And we've all had that experience. Hey, if you like this content, please click the like button, subscribe, ring the bell button so that you get notified whenever I release a new video. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Sign up for emails if you haven't already because my course is almost done and I'm going to be, my course is going to be available pretty soon. So sign up for emails so that you get notified about that. It's called Consistent Instant Manifestation. So I'm going to have a whole course on this for you guys. If you have not joined my group already, go ahead and join it. The links are below. It's a subscription members only group. I'm taking 10 people with me to Cancun next month. So if you want information about that, or if you want to book coaching with me, all of those links are below. Don't forget to watch the playlist. Here's another playlist, but watch this God State playlist. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. That was easy.